Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tanya with Yanza Creations and here we love to do all types of crafting. But in today's video, we are going to be doing a holographic butterfly. Yes, we're going to be using the DTA pack to sublimate a holographic butterfly onto a t-shirt. How are we going to get this holographic effect? We're going to be using this holographic DTF film. So I was scrolling through Amazon and I came up on this and I thought this would be really cool. So I had gone on to Creative Fabrica and found these gorgeous butterflies. And these butterflies, I think, absolutely deserve to be holographic. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So here is the image I got from Creative Fabrica, this gorgeous butterfly. And we're going to give it a holographic effect. So the film that I'm using is from a brand that is called uh, Lucky Godness. You can see that, Lucky Godness, I think. And it comes in the A4 package. It comes in this nice Ziploc package. And it has uh, the instruction sheet right here. And on the back, all the instructions that you will need. So, um, so it tells you to, it gives you the, in, the information for curing the DTF powder and it suggests that you cure it for two to three minutes at 248 Fahrenheit and then you will heat press this film at 320 Fahrenheit for eight seconds. All right, so this is the uh, Lucky Godness brand and it is holographic DTF film. All right, so let me show you the film. Now you can definitely tell the print side because uh, we have the non-print side which is very shiny and this side, as you can see on the camera, it is holographic, all right? So you're gonna print on this holographic side uh, to get your design to be holographic. Okay, so on the back here, um, it actually has some tips for getting this to work uh, very well. And they suggest, they indicate that if you skip the uh, curing process for this uh, it will not transfer properly so you need to actually cure this particular film all right it says if you don't cure it you will end up with some black spots all right and if your pressing temperature is too high you can end up with some black spots and you won't have a very good holographic transfer so they have a bunch of tips here in order to get this to work out really well so, um, you've seen me done uh, this, DT, this DTF hack a, um, a bunch of times. So, I'm not going to go through the whole process of uh, printing, adding the powder, and curing it. I have a number of videos where I've done that. So, I'm going to put a link to those videos in the description if you want to see the entire process. It is pretty much the same. So, I went ahead and I uh, pre-prepared the DTF film with my image and I've already cured it. Now, interestingly, I did print and cure three days ago and I did that uh, because I did want to be able to test generally. I have some other uh, DTF films that I am testing out as well. Um, how long will I be able to so if I were to uh, do some gang sheets or I did go ahead and pre-print and cure my DTF films, how long would these DTF films last? Um, after two weeks, after a month, can I still transfer my image successfully? So I am doing that and I will have a video all about that um, coming up. So if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that when I put out these videos, you will know. So I am testing to see how long we can, um, how we can print and store our DTF sublimation images 
uh, to use at a later time. So I did do this one three days ago. And here it is on the holographic sheet. So I did go ahead and I used my usual um, sublimation settings and I did cure this in the oven with the DTF powder as recommended. Right. So we're all ready to go. I'm just gonna switch on my heat press and we'll go ahead and press this onto the t-shirt. So don't go anywhere. All right, so my press is heating up. Today I am actually going to be using my Conduan Easy Press. I have it set. Um, it's heating up to 320 as recommended and I have set it for 10 seconds. So the, let's go back to the film a little bit. So I was a little bit concerned about it. Would it pass through my printer? It went through my printer just fine. So I'm just going to, so I'm up to about 235. I am going to pre-press my t-shirt and then bring you down to the table and we will press our holographic butterfly. All right, my press is ready. So I'm just gonna turn you down. Okay, so my t-shirt is all ready to go. I have my Conduan heat press here. Let me just bring it into view for you. All right, so it is very much like the Cricut heat press. It works pretty much the same. Um, it was about half the price of the Cricut Easy Press 12 by 10. I did a whole video on the Conduan. So if you are interested, go ahead and check out that video. I will link it as well. So let's get our, so this is what it looks like. And let's have a look at what it looks like at the back. So this is the back side of the film. So let's go ahead and put our film down. Let's crease it to get that halfway mark. So remember I prepared this uh, three days ago. So it will be interesting to see how this transfers. And of course, this is the DTF sublimation hack. So this is sublimation ink we're using. All right, so I'm just gonna line that up right here with the V of the shirt. All right. That looks good. Let's... Yes, that looks good. All right, so I'm at 320 for 10 seconds. All right, let's do this. All right, so the back of this film is actually a little bit sticky. The film, the heat press kind of got stuck to it so i guess this is one that i would definitely want to put some uh paper over it so let me do that let's see how it worked out because it shifted let's do that again for another five seconds all right yeah so for this film i would definitely say put down this paper All right, and this is, of course, a cold peel. All right, we are back and cooled down. I did use a ceramic ornament to just uh, cool the surface a little bit. Okay, so now we are pretty much cold. All right, and remember, even though you're using an easy press, remember to give it a very good pressure, okay? Um, to give it heavy pressure. So let's go ahead and peel up and see how we did. All right, so that peeled up easily. But the question is, is it holographic? Is it holographic? Let's see. All right, okay. What do you think? 
is in holographic. I do see a bit of a shine to it. Does it look holographic? Uh, it does a bit. Here we are. Oh my gosh, there we go. I should have brought it up to the light some more. There we go. All right, so it is shifting with the light. I should have brought it up to the light a little bit more. So this is our butterfly using the holographic film. And this holographic film is the uh, Lucky Godness brand. Um, so I found this on Amazon. It has, um, I think it was 30 sheets and it was uh, $13.99. So that was a pretty good buy. And I think it turned out great. I think it turned out great. Let me show you again the film. So this is the holographic, uh, this is the holographic uh, print side. So as you can see, it's, it looks more like it's mainly a green tinge and the green to me is not shifting into um, any other color really. So this is, so I think that is where maybe I am disappointed that it, it's mainly a green tinge to the image. So all my colors have a green shifting tinge. It's not like you're shifting through green, through yellow, through different colors it's just a green but i think it turned out okay it was uh 13 for about um a pack of 30 so that wasn't too bad so le please leave your comments i would love to hear what you think about this uh film uh do you think it's worth it um i think it's okay all right so thanks again for joining me I had fun doing this t-shirt and so don't forget to um, give this a like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I really look forward to your comments. They make my day. I absolutely love to read your comments and to answer. So go ahead, leave your comments. I am so looking forward to reading them and I'll see you in the next one.